Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday, and today I am going to apply for health insurance twice. First, using the exchanges created by the Affordable Care Act, and second, using the private insurance options that existed before the Affordable Care Act, which, by the way, still exist. All right, let's get right to it. Okay, so first we're going to go through the new health care exchanges. It is currently 1.11 p.m. I am going to Google, I need to sign up for Obamacare. Bam! Took me right there. Okay. My first name is John. Create account. Dun, 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 dun. Saying please wait. Still saying please wait. I'm just gonna go to Tumblr for a while. Sign up unsuccessful? Dang it! Alright, I'm gonna try again. First name is John. My last name is Green. I live in Indiana. I do have an email address. Thank you for asking. Alright, I'm back to the please wait screen. Big money, no whammies. Sign up unsuccessful. Well, this is not going well at all. I'm gonna keep trying because that is my commitment. My name is John, my last name is Green. I live in Indiana. I do have an email address. It's now 1.16 p.m. I'm five minutes into my uh, applying for Obamacare experience. So far I'm gonna say a little underwhelming. Do I know my first name? I mean, at this point, I have almost have it memorized. Okay, my account cannot be created this time because the system is unavailable. I don't want to. I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit frustrated. Maybe I'll call for some room service. No, no, no. I, I don't like. I don't like mayonnaise. No mayo. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Do you have like Diet Pepsi? Perfect. Bye. <laughs> I have an account. I gotta go to my email address to sign up for it though. Now it says get insurance. John, what would you like to do? Apply for new coverage? Yes. Okay. My date of birth? Yes, I know that. Oh, and then I have to tell you about the next person. That's my wife. The third person is my kid. His name is Henry. He's very cute. Person 404, that would be my new baby. Suddenly it's pretty easy. It's all questions I know how to answer. All right, now I'm going to sign and submit. No one applying for health coverage on this application is currently incarcerated. Agree. Unless Henry has done something in the last couple of minutes. Okay, and quick update. It is now 2 p.m., so I am 49 minutes into my Affordable Care Act application. I have now uploaded a photograph of my driver's license so they can verify my identity, so then I can go in and decide which kind of insurance I want. I will now attempt to get to that same place with the private insurance that existed before the Affordable Care Act. I have that application right here. Let's get started. My name! Oh. It just, just so happens I know that. I am married. Here is my social security number. Okay, Hank, I just got to the really scary part of this application where it says incorrect or incomplete information on this application may result in voidance of coverage or claim denial. So I need to be um, really, I guess, honest about all the questions. Has the applicant, while operating a motor vehicle, been involved in an accident or received a moving violation? If yes, provide details in medical history details, because of course, that time I rolled through a stop sign is part of my medical history. Rolled through, stop sign, got ticket, felt shame. Is any family member pregnant or an expectant mother or father? I hope not. In the last five years, has any applicant been diagnosed as having elevated cholesterol, diabetes, or sugar in the blood? Stroke, mental, emotional, or behavioral disorder? <sighs> oh, I was on a good roll till you got to mental, emotional, or behavioral disorder. In the last five years, has any applicant had any indications, signs, or symptoms of any disease, disorder, injury, or adverse finding? Uh, I mean, yes! Is any applicant currently or in the last five years used alcoholic beverages in excess of 14 drinks per week? Yes. During the week of the Indianapolis 500, yes, definitely. This application is like fully 25 pages long and the language in it makes my head hurt. Oh, this is taking forever. I have to hang every three seconds. I have to look up the phone number of a different doctor. This sucks. In the last 10 years, has any applicant been hospital confined? Yes, orbital cellulitis, plus my wife was hospital confined when she had the babies. Had surgery? Yes, I had my gallbladder out. Or discussed surgery? Like to, mentioned it in conversation. So basically, you have to write down every time you or someone in your family has been to the doctor in the last 10 years, every time you got a medical test, and if the results were not normal, what the results were. So, 
That's what I've been doing for the last two hours. Okay, Hank, it is now 4.13 p.m. I think that I have finished my medical history details. And there's all this really complicated stuff I don't understand about information practices. But anyway, I'm not gonna read it. I'm just gonna consider it finished at two hours and 16 minutes. So to summarize, Hank, in neither case did I actually get insurance. However, even with all the server errors, it was more than twice as fast to apply under the Affordable Care Act private exchanges than it was to apply in the old way. And it's also much less confusing and intrusive. Like, in the old way, I had to list every single time I went to the doctor, and in the new way, they didn't ask me anything except whether I smoked. It's not really fair to compare the experience of buying health insurance on these new exchanges to the experience of buying a surprisingly affordable poster at DFTBA.com. The only real analog is what it was like to buy insurance before. And as far as I can tell, it has gotten dramatically better, even though the government could stand to buy some new servers. So, Hank, I hope you enjoyed my afternoon spent in the world of health insurance. I know I didn't. I'll see you on Friday. Actually, I might see you before Friday because I might do like a special bonus video. I don't know. This whole government shutdown has got everything off for scrubberty prop here at Vlog Brothers.